Greetings, my name is Matt Faiello and I'm a technical marketing engineer with the Cisco Compute Business Group. And uh, I'd like to discuss with you today uh, the Cisco Intersight virtual appliance, specifically integrating the virtual appliance with your Active Directory uh, services uh, in your organization. Uh, we've had some folks have difficulty in setting that up correctly, so uh, hopefully this video will be informative uh, and solve some of your problems. So as you can see in front of me here, I have an instance uh, of the virtual appliance that I'm running in my lab. And of course, uh, my sign-in capabilities is, is it, at this point is all local sign-in. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna sign in as the local admin here. Okay, so now we're logged into the virtual appliance and uh, where you wanna orient yourself here in the virtual appliance is the settings tab. Uh, so let's click on that and go to settings. And you can see here that we have under authentic authentication, we have LDAP AD uh, integration. Okay, and there's nothing there yet. Um, before we start the, the actual work here, um, what I'd like to do is flip over to my lab Active Directory uh, server and show you some of the pre-work that you're going to want to do there. So either yourself, uh, if you're an admin there, or get with your, uh, your AD admin uh, to set things up properly there. Okay, so now we're uh, in the uh, AD server uh, in my lab, and uh, I just want to discuss a few things here. Most, most folks probably already know this stuff, but just in case there are some newer users out there, um, we can certainly discuss. First of all, um, in the AD schema, it's pretty simple here because this is a lab. Uh, there's a couple things here. You're going you're gonna to need to capture your root uh, uh, DN, so uh, a good way to do that is to use uh, a Windows capability, a tool here, ADSI Edit, okay? And once you do that, um, you can get your actual DN. Um, good way to do that is just to right-click and go to Properties. And then you'll notice in the attributes here, you have a distinguished name and you can click on that and you can copy that uh, to uh, a text editor, WordPad, etc. Okay, so you're gonna need that. Um, we went ahead, uh, uh, and doing this work here, we decided to go ahead and build a, uh, a new OU. Um, your, your existing AD administrator probably has a place for you uh, for this intersite integration, so certainly confirm and confer with uh, him or her. Um, but we went ahead and built an OU called uh, Intersite Users. And, and then we built a couple accounts. Uh, we knew we were going to do uh, administrators first, uh, so we did account admin uh, one, or basically account admin, account admin two, a couple, couple users, um, different users. And then uh, we created a group um, because ultimately we're not going to integrate a user to AD. We'd actually just like to integrate groups, okay, and then add members to groups. So once you, once you create the individual users here, um, you're going to want to go ahead and... Uh, uh, do a couple things here. First of all, um, let's bounce over to uh, users and computers, okay, where you're actually going to create those, okay. Um, let's go in here and you can see that uh, members of those, of that group, uh, account admin group here is both of my users that I put in, that I created, admin, account admin, and account admin too. Okay, so I've, I've already added them to the group. Um, I also have a bind user account. Now this is just a plain Jane uh, domain user, okay, with basically read capabilities. Uh, no special permissions are needed. Um, if you, you probably, your, your AD administrator might and probably have a, a, some kind of a service account that you can already leverage, uh, but you're definitely gonna need that bind user uh, account. And of course, uh, uh, as with most things there, you're gonna need the OU um, for that bind user. So, or excuse me, the DN. Um, so if you come over to ADS, ADSI edit and go to properties, um, scroll down um, to the DN. There's the distinguished name. Yeah, go ahead and capture that as well. Okay, as well as the, the DN for the group. Okay, so you're gonna need that DN as well. 
There's the distinguished name. Let's so go ahead and grab that. Again, grab these DNs, copy and paste them to a text editor um, so that you can then have them when we set up the integration uh, within the Intersight appliance. Okay, so this is kind of quick and dirty. This is very simple. You probably, uh, in your production domains, have something a, a little bit more complex, uh, but you can see how it's done, the principles behind it. Um, certainly, ADSI edit helps you get the DN. Uh, you're going to create the users and groups, of course, in Active Directory users and computers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch back to the uh, Intersight virtual appliance now where we can complete the uh, integration. Okay, so we're now back at the virtual appliance. Uh, specifically, we are in settings. And then halfway down, authentication, LDAP AD. So let's go ahead and configure LDAP here. First of all, we're going to give it a friendly name. Um, this just helps us to know what we're integrated with and maybe where. Okay, so I'm giving it a friendly name. Um, here's that base DN. So this is kind of the, uh, the root DN that I had you copy <clears throat> uh, from, uh, from the Active Directory server, specifically ADSI edit. So we'll go ahead and put that base DN there. Okay, so if you have these already copied onto a, a text editor, WordPad, it makes it really easy to set this up. So do the work in advance. Then uh, here's the bind DN that I had you copy and paste. Okay. Group attribute member, that can stay default. And of course, you're gonna to want to give uh, a, a password for that bind user account. Uh, so whatever password was created for that, you're gonna to wanna to supply that there. And then at this time, we're not going to configure a uh, secure LDAP. Uh, there will actually be a follow on video where we build upon this, uh, this uh, normal LDAP integration. And uh, we'll go ahead and show the secure aspect of that. So we'll convert this uh, to a secure LDAP uh, in a following video that will be released here very soon. Okay, so but we do need to provide the server. So I've got my uh, <clears throat> fully qualified domain name for my AD server. Port stays 389 and we click save. Okay, so a couple things here will happen. Uh, first of all, you get a couple uh, workflow uh, requests that kick off. So the software is installing the necessary services and configuring itself for LDAP integration. And this will take a minute or two. So just be patient and let these things, these, these uh, workflow tasks here uh, complete. Okay, so we've got both of our uh, tasks completed here with success green, so we're good to go there. Um, while we're still logged in as a local admin, let's go ahead and go back to uh, settings. And this time, since we have our integration done successfully, but let's create a group and do the group integration. Okay. So this, this name here needs to correspond with the group name in Active Directory. So we named uh, in our lab account admin group. And basically you're gonna, a good way to do it is have, you know, you're gonna have a different group in your 80 OU structure um, for each of the roles that you need with the, the Intersight virtual appliance. Um, in our case here, um, I'm going to go ahead and populate in that uh, DN that we copied, okay, for the account admin group, okay, and I'm going to sign that group account administrator permissions. So. For each of the roles that you have within Intersight, you can create a different group. And then simply, uh, as you add users, um, simply add them to be members of that applicable group for the rights and roles that they need. Okay, so we've done this now and we go ahead and click save.
Okay. So now we're ready to test this out. Uh, we've done everything necessary to do the integration. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign out of local admin. And you'll notice a change right away. Since we did the, the, uh, the integration, you know that you see that you have uh, LDAP AD now properly show up uh, in the, the UI splash screen for login. Our domain is TME demo. And I'm going to log in as one of my users, account admin. Remember, I had two users, account admin, account admin2. And supply the password. Okay. And we've successfully performed the integration with the LDAP AD server. Um, I hope you find this informative and helpful. Uh, once again, we will follow on with another uh, short video on how to set up secure LDAP. So we're going to build upon this, uh, this uh, implementation here. And uh, wish you good luck. Thank you.